Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm changing things up yet again. Italy did not do very much for us in pretty much any tactics except one. So we're going back to the Premier League and we're gonna try something a little bit different. So welcome back to the Premier League. Now, as you can see, we are Man City still, and we are still Bournemouth and Leeds as well. This is going to be kind of a one-off. What I'm going to do is as we go through certain tactics that are geared for certain players or coaches or teams, we are going to use those teams, uh, but we're also going to add in two others with it. So with a lot of the other tactics that I've already tried, we are back in the Premier League. Italy is done for now. I just didn't do much with Italy. It wasn't very fun. It wasn't very exciting to see a lot of the tactics just fail miserably. But every now and again, what I'm going to do is a one-off where the team, the tactic, their matchup. So maybe I'll try the Tottenham tactic again, but with Tottenham. Um, in this case, this is called, it's the IWB IW Cheat Code Holland. But the cheat code Holland is what you need to see here. And if you take a look, Holland is the top goal scorer with 75 whopping goals this year. And that's the reason I wanted to see what this tactic would be like with Man City and with the other two. But I have to throw in the other two teams just to kind of see how they stack up against this type of tactic that is geared towards a specific team. Uh, and as you can see, if we go to the league table, Man City crushed it with 93 points. Liverpool in second with 92 but man, that is a tight race. But in the end, 71 all the way down with Arsenal. 29, let's start with there. 29, 6, and 3 losses. Again, 93 points. They lost to Liverpool away from home. Leeds and Bournemouth, not so much. 44 points apiece. 11, 11, and 16. And 10, 14, and 14. Not great showings from them, but again, this is a Man City tactic. This is geared specifically towards Holland himself, so it worked well. Now, the tactic itself, as you can see, a sweeper keeper in support, an inverted wing back on the left with in attack, a wing back on the right, two ball playing defenders in defense, a box to box in support, a box to box again in support, an inverted winger in support on the left. An inside forward and support on the right, an attacking midfielder and support and centrally, and then a poacher up top. So right where Holland is going to be, it is an attacking mentality, custom control possession. Uh, in possession, it is fairly wide, pass into space, overlap on the left and right. Passing directness is standard, tempo is slightly higher, uh, and then run at defense and be more expressive with low crosses. In transition, counter press and counter is all you get. Out of possession, high press line of engagement, standard defensive line, actually. Uh, trigger press much more often, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and then the trap outside. Now, do we have any opposition instructions? Absolutely nothing. So that is the tactic itself. As you can see, I mean, like we said, Man City just cruised with only three losses. They lost in the FA Community Shield, so that's one trophy they did not win. They lost their first match away from home against West Ham, 1-2. And then it took them a couple months, lost against Napoli away from home 1-2. to two. Atletico, wow, 1-5. to five. EFL Cup third round against Tottenham loss. Uh, where did they pick up? The Champions round of 16 against Juve, nil 4 and then a 3-1 win at home. But that does see them out. But you get 2-3 to three loss against Newcastle, 2-3 to three loss against Liverpool. And then I, I would say a clean sheet. I mean, you get all wins in the month of May. But wow, 4-1, 5-3, 5-2. Lots of high-scoring games right there. And then a final match against Leeds at home, 1-0. Uh, and as we stick with these teams, Bournemouth away from home, 6-0. Bournemouth at home, 5-1. Leeds again, 2-all draw. So overall, a pretty good season. Uh, some of these numbers definitely could be improved upon, though. Leeds, on the other hand, a complete change. Uh, they did draw their first match at home against Nottingham Forest, nil all. 2 nil over Arsenal, which is a fantastic result, but automatically losing out to Nottingham Forest, nil 2 in the second round of the EFL Cup. Not good at all. Uh, but wins against Leicester, a win against Tottenham, not bad. Chelsea, I mean, these are big teams that they're beating. Southampton, 1-0. After World Cup, you get 3-1 Newcastle win, 2-0 Fulham, and then finally beating New Nottingham Forest 3-1. Uh, Bournemouth won all draw. Man City, that there's that 0-1. Where was the other two? Bournemouth 2-5 away from home. Man City 2 all draw. 
overall, not great. And if we go to Bournemouth in the schedule, you can see they started off a lot better, but still a couple of draws in there. But the, the losses just came shortly after, come September and through October. But starting off nicely against Brighton, a 2-all draw against Chelsea, 2-1 against Brentford, uh, EFL Cup second round against Northampton. Uh, so a couple of really nice wins here. 5-2 against Leeds, 1-5 away from home against Man City. Out 2-6 at home against Liverpool. Ooh. And then Man City nil 6 there's that one. 1-all draw. Finishing out the season against Leicester away from home. Not great. Um, a lot more draws here, but still spotty as all get out. If we look at the league itself, Holland with 61 goals. Solanke with 24. Nunez with 23. Holland with 8.28 rating. Jack Grealish and Bernardo Silva with 12 assists apiece. Holland with 16 player of the match awards. That's insane. I mean, it it is cheat code Holland. He is a human cheat code anyway. I've said it many times before. But this really does kind of bump it up another level. Uh, I will I will say it's not the level that I thought it would be so far. However, 71 goals, or what is it, 75 goals overall is pretty crazy. Most shots, 297 to Solanke in second place with 137. That is that is pretty nice. Um, but of course, you've got the key passes into Holland, which makes all the difference. So De Bruyne with 131, Silva with 110. So able to get those shot numbers up like crazy. Uh, most tackles won. Nobody, funny enough. Team overview, 128 goals for Man City, 103 for Liverpool. Bournemouth with 56, so not too bad. Most possession, meh, no one really. Most dribbles, there you go, Man City. Fewest conceded, Man City in third. Uh, and most shutouts, not, Man City's not there. Most tackles won, there you go, Leeds and Bournemouth. Pass completion, nobody. Most shots for Man City, 929 to Liverpool's 810. And then in third place, 579 is crazy for Arsenal. Bournemouth and Leeds in 5th and 6th. Most points per game, obviously 2.45 for Man City, 2.42 for Liverpool. Very well done. However, this is what I am kind of gearing up for to finish it off. All in all, season stats, the FA Cup, 3 appearances, 8 goals. 8 goals in 3 appearances. Carabao Cup, none. FA Community Shield, none. UEFA Nations League and Nations League B... I don't understand these. I, I really don't. I always have to scroll up for these. Champions League, eight appearances, six goals, one assist. Premier League, 38, 61, and 10. I mean, 8 8 0 in the FA Cup. Just phenomenal. Uh, but he did miss a penalty. Player of the Match Awards, 20. Average rating, 8 13. Best is 10. Worst is 6. Uh, overall, I mean, again, Holland is going to do you well pretty much no matter what happens. Unless something just derails his career, uh, or his season at least. So if he gets injured and just gets knocked out, what are you going to do? But overall, if we, I mean, we looked at Man City. If we looked at Bournemouth, player stats, 27 goals for Solanke in all competitions. A uh, Highest average rating is Billing with 703. Most assists, Ryan Christie with 11. And then most player of the match awards, 4 for Dominic Solanke. And then if we go to Leeds... Go to their home. Rodrigo with 16 goals. Not too bad. Brandon Aronson with 703. Most assists, Aronson, Harrison, and Luis Sinister with 7. And then most player of the match awards, 5. Uh, if we go to their competitions, let's start with Leeds since we're already here. FA Cup knocked out in the third round by Petersburg United. Knocked out in the second round by Nottingham Forest of the Carabao Cup. Ending in 15th place. Ouch. And if we look at Bournemouth, the 16th place, one down. Uh, knocked down the third round by Everton, so at least a bit better of competition in the FA Cup. Uh, third round, Aston Villa just crushed in the Carabao Cup. And then Man City, let's see what their competition is like. They won the Premier League by a single whopping point over Liverpool. Crazy year for these two. Knocked out in the round of 16 by Juve, so there's that Champions League miss yet again. Knocked out in the fifth round by Bristol City, though. Ouch, that one hurts. Knocked out in the third round by Tottenham. Runners up in the FA Community Show. They got one trophy, folks. And that is it. So overall, a piss poor season for Man City, but for Erling Holland with 75 freaking goals, that is crazy. So cheat cold Holland, sure. I mean, it it works for Man City. I don't know if it's going to work for a lot of other teams, especially the lower half teams. Man United in tenth place. Dang, Everton relegated. This is an interesting tactic, an interesting season. Uh, but Man City just crushing it, cruising to first place, 93 points on Holland's back. 
it's pretty clear. So take that for what you will. Um, we are going to do a couple more tests, uh, maybe do a couple more Klopp ones with Liverpool, maybe do a couple of other teams with other coaches and other you know tactics and all that. Um, but we are back in the Premier League for here for the foreseeable future with a couple of different teams. So Bournemouth, Leeds, and Man City are no longer unless it's specific to one of those teams. We are going to change things up, and I'll show you who they are next time. But Italy just did not work out. We're back in the Prem. Let me know if you want to go to Germany or France or somewhere else, but this is where we're going to stay for the time being. So anyway, for the Football Manager Blog Channel, I am Stephanie Pham saying thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy.